So Grand Final, Luminosity back in the Grand Final up against Orange Team, Zakrak against Lutano, and Zakrak against AG. Overlord secures very early Blaze Kin. Otter just likes his Mystic Fire Sylveon right now. So he's gonna go for it again. Leave him first pick. Is it gonna be another Scyther? I didn't like the Scyther earlier at all. I have to say. But early Gyarados as well. I mean, they pick Gyarados to Blaziken because Blaziken's early game is weak, which means Gyarados gets a free laning phase, right? So they go for the Gyarados. So this has been a really powerful pick, but I get it. In North America, I see a few and just because Blaziken's early game is weak, right? Zero of it in EU. I don't so think we don't see bus. No Busful or Blastoise so early picked. I mean, Busful NA doesn't care about Busful. Only Europe does, I think. Blastoise, there we go, finally locked in. We haven't seen and slow, bro. Three defenders are bent. Orange team has nothing left now. They've got. Wait, they didn't pick a defender last rotation. So where is OT going to go here? Flareon? So they have to pick Looking Lapras now? Snorlax, maybe Snorlax. Really? Go, Zakrak Snorlax. That is like stuff of legends. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't like Lapras here. I don't. I'd rather have a Snorlax. But, you know, compared to Very honest. Like Krostol, Trevenin, it doesn't feel like it has a and a Koopa last pick. All right, it's gonna be our first your game opponents. matchup right here. Again, I'm excited. Let's see. From the losers bracket, meaning they're gonna need to win two best. I thought Nemesis series. would be just nice crushing little, uh, this tournament, but here in the middle is Nemesis on the grand final, the only third place. Of course, JL, the Hoopa, Quite surprising, but not so Tano actually top player. This is a Blaziken and jungle again. So, really, I mean, these Pokemon so but I mean, I guess Gyarados against Blastoise is also fine, right? Like, you don't have to worry too much about yeah, I mean, it. You know, you are not sure exactly where they're going Overlord to push these goes back and Otter just going to try to get only play Mystic of, uh, Sivian right now. Otter, are you okay, buddy? Otter, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of wild, actually. It's like one is not fact. populated on the gun? map, I suppose. But, early. but he doesn't have vision on it, so he's just to guess. It's kind of It is fun. Well, that's an insane yeah, stat. They have not seen a single Reggie Rock in all their you, games. Like some people will say, fun fact, and they don't deliver. That's pretty a fun, fun fact. fact. That fact is straight up fun. You can't argue it. <laughs> They're just I fun. Someone, someone hold me back if you try to argue that's a fun fact. Here we go. Don't make me Eight charge minutes, up a wicked low yeah. here. Solar nice blade. big solar blade. Oh, but nice catch on Leafion. But again, so the well. same thing happening again. Really Otto just goes top path, and they're just not ready for it. But I feel like you should be at some point. And they, they did the same thing earlier, and Orange Team should have watched the games. So. I'm surprised that people are like caught off guard by this. By Foreman, you see why, you see why it worked, and then Otter can instantly go invade with the support too. Are you asking why Foreman top? They, they just got a KO, they got points in, they got an invade in. That's why. What was already level 7? He's level 7 already for mid. But so is Antillion somehow. Yeah, and look how forward they're playing. Lutano is going on the chase. You know, Kratos with the Solar Blade comes in. He played Solar Blade, Lutano. Engages, but Lutano picks them back nice Hydro Pump. The Ooh. And they get the knockout that they want. Lutano still Great early game for AG. Impressive stuff. I feel like... Do you have a Gyarados now? They're playing so well here. It's just so... It's so pretty. Yo, Bruff, I have a question. Bruff, what do you, you think is better really here? Lepros or Snorlax? Team, or Orange Team? Very, very well. Joey... Doing a pretty good job holding down this bottom path. You know, I mean, I think I think on the answer into that goal zone, but uh, it's not broken yet, and they've been able to let the rest of the team be on. So that is a level eight on that Blaziken, which is a huge level spike for this Pokemon. Obviously, they can now switch their moves up, which they're going to do right here. Don't spike. We still don't see a waterfall, but I mean, amazing things this Pokemon. What I don't know. I really just don't understand. Like, it's hard to understand how good waterfall is. I'm not sure either how good it really is. So incredibly cruel, because no one even has a unite move. To Very hard to tell. Yeah, and Chisel is just charging a bounce, but Lutano is unafraid. They are out leveling, uh, out leveling Chisel here. Meanwhile, we got a little fight breaking yeah. out downstairs. Zug Rug in the face. I, mean, I feel like I feel like Yon Heavy Slim Snorlax would be so much better here. Pretty free at that point because nobody else from OT was there. But Lutano. Also, the XP share lap which just doesn't feel. Too wild. Otter's being so aggressive. He does have Unite. He dodges the Solar Blade. 
their Unite move. But, I mean, he's still just missing. Right <laughs> he just doesn't he's do anything, nice so. Let's see if ah. we can find it. Oh, the auto didn't reach the anymore. They did oh, they get Overlord. Nice. Nice big KO there. However, Kratos picks up the KO and they get the secure in the top path. So a little bit of a win here for OT. Is there yeah, just to tank Sivion? No Unite move I mean, yet on this Gyarados, but once they do that... I think Mystic Fire Sivion is not that big of a threat at some point anyway, so you have to like tank it, but sure. They can definitely use it in this sure, fight sure, sure. if they want to. Kind of easy setup right here. You know exactly where your opponents are going to be. And here they come with a big time Unite. Looking for Lutano. Falix is out in like five days. But they're doing a lot of work with two players here. I uh, think Felix is on the 25th. So four days now? The pressure that Machizel and Roland has been able to put on them allowed them to close the goal zone in the bottom pass break. Yeah, great stuff. Bridger here's Lucky is clear. Almost. They still want to push it so badly. Machizel can get the KO. He jacked one. Oh, he actually gets it. Nice KO right there. Reggie Galecki finally will go down. But a great fight from OT. I think for Gyarados, but Bounce is going to be up soon, right? But Ova, he comes out. Oh, they turn around! Sleeping is here! They're five people! Oh my. Yeah, Europe didn't play Gyarados, they just don't like it. They picked Buswell instead. But against Bus, do you want to play Gyarados into Buswell? I don't think so, right? Luminosity bullying OT for a while, but now that it's here and it has Unite moves very often, it will be able to fight. <laughs> Another just not fun, just a fact. This was a fact. Uh, OT has lost every Reggie Rock they've seen today. 0 for 1, as now the pressure's back the other way. They do close the goal zone with a 12 point overcap. Meanwhile, uh, Flareon's mm. for OT secures the next Reggie. And here we go. This top pass. So wait, they got a Reggie yeah, Rock so now? now Hold on. What are we doing with these facts here? <laughs> It's gonna start getting confusing. Is this one a semi fun fact? Tano's only level can nine. To, can we change him to fast? He's so underleveled. Can we get them fast? But he so said he wants wrong. to give his teammates experience, he right? He wants to support them. In the top path, Luminosity looking for a so secure here on Reggie. He's Electric. letting Otter, but Otter's also only level 10, so. Reggie has so little experience. It's all an overlord. He's level 12, but that's about it. Luminosity gets the secure. I thought we might see a. Oh, could be nice bounce. Now he's gonna go back out. The whole team of LG was kind of clustered. Are they gonna go for this? They have good Unite moves to dive this. Blaster is gonna walk up the surf completely missed, but already went in. Is it because Gyarados pressed Unite and went in? On the SZ port to bot lane. Oh, this was wonderful. That was slow, bro. And they might even go for bot, but Lapras Unite? Camera? Okay, they get Hooper. Lutano makes it out. How did it just walk in because Gyarados Unite moved? Moved. going to be staying at the goal zone just you know because the surf completely missed to make sure that that reggie Alecki did not walk in because they've opened up a really unfortunate lose condition for themselves by having that top goal zone gone of course the next reggie Alecki could this walk is a uh... it and create a zapdos condition which would be horrible for them yeah, lose conditions hmm. are the worst conditions you now they're based out to open against team. hoopa potentially Truly they are and but Honestly, I don't think I don't think Eddie wants to go for Hoopa Kevin to the base. Okay, well, uh, forever second best. A bit too much, maybe. You know, Look, I, strikes again. I said it's Donk. up there. I feel like that's a huge compliment, given that my quote will last. You know, it will outlast me for sure. <laughs> with, my grandchildren will point to that. Let's They're see like, what Reggie's going to be. That. It's still 40 seconds to Ray, though, <laughs> so. KO guy. Anyways, roll Another Reggie Rock. Joey. Joey gonna surf in, only so they didn't see Reggie Rock all day. Now they get three in one game. Forward, we're typically used to seeing them uh, on the backside. Kratos in a hair of trouble. Is oh, but he, con he used to use Jack button for this, but, but okay, that's gonna get some Reggie Rock. The next base is it. Which is another Reggie Reggie Rock. How's this possible? And now they're positive on and the now we have Reggie Rock 14. <laughs> that's honestly, it's unreasonable. But I feel like a, a, a sort of Leafion late game doesn't matter all too much. The fast facts. It, there's no reality where they get any of those Are they trying to burst this down on top? They have eight now, seconds. Yeah, they don't. Secure and fools out here. It's yeah, they could have maybe just tried to burst on top of Leafion if they're in for it. AG. The other ones, though. They're getting Yeah, here we go. Orange team they had 10, 11 seconds for it. This objective, Rayquaza, being hit right now by Luminosity, but you know, they're just kind of testing the waters here, seeing who's around, seeing if they can pull someone in for this fight. Uh, Overlord chipping in some damage on Rayquaza, but Lutano on the flank again. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
just I mean, the same, they have to be aware of Lutano flank, right? They just watch that. Are they not? A... Okay, Leafian spots him out. He doesn't want to go for it. But there's just so much pressure. Even if Lutano just shows up, he's actually going for the back in the base. Yep. I mean, he can. Orange is not going to rip Ray. And just being behind the enemy team puts so much pressure on Orange. Because they know that Blast isn't there, but he actually recoiled now. Oh no, we have uh oh, can they go for Lithion? running down here to stop it. So Luminosity still slightly ahead. No one wanting to commit to not going for a backup. No exactly but Lapras is weak. No, Lapras is left side, out. right? It's a close battle. Gyarados gets one hundred points in. Thing to read is Gyarados looks to score in the top. Uh, so all edgy. The chisel is here, and it looks like a fight is starting out in the middle. Who found out they're going to go for Ray or what? We have the Unite move coming out. From yeah, Pokemon. camera man, what's happening in mid? What's happening in mid? Oh, they're going for it. Rayquaza on 12 HP. Last of the night is quite, quite nice. They get one KO. Rayquaza is actually quite healthy now. No one's bursting it down. But IG, IG lost Overlord. Oh, they're dropping like flies. They're actually just getting destroyed in this fight. Oh, the snipe shot. Oh, team. They take the first game in the grand final. Aye. And maybe I never like seeing Oshifu. Like, seeing uh, Oshifu doesn't make me happy in any shape or form. I just don't think it's something we want. I'm surprised they don't just take and tell you in a way as well for, like, Otter. He just prefers playing Sivion. It's also gonna be a... Okay, they're gonna jungle Share a lot. Interesting. Glaceon last pick here. But it's not gonna be Icy Wind again, I assume. I feel like we've used a Potter changing items again. There's gotta be another Mystic of Fire. He always goes for like he goes for like a tank Mystic of Fire Sylvian bit. Or maybe not this time. We still have Vice Glasses on. So it might be Hyper Voice this time. No, he changed to Resonant Guard. Yeah, he runes Cursed. Focus Band Resonant Guard on Sylvian, so it's gonna be that again. Lutano is running an Isaac a Spear bit, though, for items. Ah. I don't like a G's comp, I have to say. I don't. Hmm. Orange Team, your perfect team, yeah, nice. Thanks a lot. Here we go. Grand finals time. Orange team again, the purple team. Yeah, I don't know why Otta cares so much about Mystic Fire Sylvia, and I don't get it. Moving through Overlord taking the cup. So Overlord's gonna be top lane for now. But he's gonna have a Sylvian helping out soon. So great rotation here with one. Oh no, he's gonna have Lutano helping him out. It's gonna be Isaac Spear. Which I also don't like this game. Isaac Spear against Crusade. Is that possible? That almost does not feel correct. Hold on. Orange team hadn't seen Reggie Rock or Reggie Steel. That's is that true? There's maybe. No. We'll, we'll see. I, where I know we're gonna see three in a row. I'm well aware. Yeah, of Mystic Fire going aggressive. I mean, I, I guess it's fun to tell you and it can kind of run him down, that. but. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really higher priority than like Inteleon or anything else. Uh, like Otter plays so many other things. But I guess he just wants to be aggressive. He wants to like just pressure them a lot. Is it gonna be missing? I mean, I think it's gonna be Paladins Venu this game, maybe. But I would like to see Giga, Giga Drain and Solar Beam. Oh, big punch! Well, Wallow does kill a five right here pretty early on. And That's they nice. Don't exactly know what I'm about to do to them, and it's gonna be really, really. Mean Maybe Shifu's fine this game because they have a lot of damage at least to make up for Shifu. Uh, a lot of Pokemon that require. And they do need some secure, but like. Skill, but also a high level of patience, you know. Things like Aegis Slash, you have to be very. Japan loves Drake Knight. I wonder if Drake Knight would do that in Europe and North America. I guess not. Music of Fire at least is nice against Boy. Can always jump over. When it's time to charge up that move, it's uh they're impressive Pokemon to win with, and he's an impressive player, so. I'm not surprised to see it. I mean, it's pretty good now. You got a five so early that uh, top is over now right? for Orange Team. Lutano keeps helping out, but Lutano just wants to uh, get Overlord strong. Yeah, here we have the top path looking it's going quite well. We yeah, there's feeding Overlord. They're funneling a lot into him. Yeah, it's gonna be Pelidance, actually. Interesting, really, though. Do I like Pelidance here? I don't know if I do. 
Yeah, I mean the preferred Running uh, into long range uh three EVs? maybe is the snipe shot at Teleon. Um but Overlord is level seven and looking to make a good if I double sniping and just like delete them from range, the right? Like Venusaur and Snipe Shot. With very strong front line. Damage in on Roland and yeah, they're playing the so bottom, much around Overlord. Wow. These two teams. We just have two defenders down there. However, Venusaur from OT Already late running now. to this bottom path to see if they can make something happen while Luminosity is crashing this top. That makes sense. Right here. That's a level eight Venusaur alongside the Intellion. He's going to keep saying top. Incredibly strong secure here. They should be able to take down this hey, He's not going to try to steal this. I mean, that's no chance. You know, they take these things down all day. Reggie or Fergilecki. Finally, Blizzy. Blizzy is uh, Evolution's there. Get on top of this goal zone because Ooh, at least left he missed his wicked blow. This Reggie on the doorstep. We have a I had to pump rapid spin. Blastoise. Okay. Uh, out but why? Is it, bet is it really better here? The procs, I guess, EV passives. Well. Overall, solo level 9. Yeah, really nice overcap right there in this top. Yeah, right? It feels like Very weird because Ushifu's not going to be carrying, right? They put so much into Overlord, but he plays a Pokemon that is like. You press Unite move on time and the team fight is over. So, it's not a carry Pokemon. It seems like. Once like you're right. Decide they want to fight. We're gonna just see them scrap for the rest of the game. We just haven't quite had the. But Lutano still have a nine two, so quite yet. it's all um, fine. They're playing very patient. You mentioned Overlord specifically, but the whole team. Oh, you got hit by a snipe shot. Who does he want to go for? He wants to go for Teleon. Hmm. He did the combo. Can he lift those? The question. Looks like he can. Like in games like this as well, I would just love to see. Leon just go for full heal. Like you know you're up against Ushifu. Yeah, great stuff just go full heal. You, know, you can't die to Snapu. There's not a lot of adjustments happening sometimes in draft. Like you see they have Ushifu, right? Who is he gonna go for? Venusaur is Pelidance, he's running full heal. Just run full heal. You have enough range anyways. If Ushifu goes this deep and you full heal his Unite move, they just lose the game instantly. Right? Advantage that you just picked up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if you are like scared of dying, then uh, it's just right it's okay to play a bit more passive. Orange team could be five minutes button. away from closing this whole thing out. Winning You're facing. I give enough mobility, anyways. For North America, Luminosity is looking to stop them right now. Heading up to this Reggie Alecki. They've got a great opportunity for a secure right here. Plenty of rip. Plenty of damage. But Chisel could try. But she's gonna try. I mean, really there's no way. I'm surprised he's even around. Yeah, they're again training, training. I think they gonna go for a push here. It seems way too much. Not against Blastoise. No chance. Does M make Billy unite here more? If the shield is not taken? Bro, I have no idea. You're asking me things I don't know. <laughs> The 14, the okay, 40, nice overcap. Nice score here, 143, 216. Luminosity ahead. I don't, I don't see why it would, no. Here. That makes no nice sense. Big punch, Zogrug, right back the other way with a Unite move of their own. Didn't catch them with the Rock too, however. Otter jumping on up into the air, making sure that Unite move makes them invulnerable and able to get away. Jumping through a Rock Tomb there with the Mystic I just, Fire. I hate AG's late game team fighting. I hate it. Be able to make plays like that. They would be I feel like in that Orange team has such a solid uh, team comp. Scoring just moves across. Oh, but this is this. They're going to turn this around. Overlord's knocked up. He doesn't have Unite. But oh, Edegos hits a nice Unite to heal everyone up. Can they take him down? Oh, Hydropin. No, he gets punched. Punch into the face. They actually lose this fight. Wow. Incredible stuff. And you know, it kind of looks like Two for zero. he's dining on turtle soup tonight. Incredible that was close. Stuff. I mean, I thought Overlord was going down multiple times inside that fight. We had the Bliss assistance into the Hydro Typhoon, into the. Hot again is also pretty under leveled. He's only level 10 on Mystic Fire Sylveon, so he's kind of, he's pretty much useless. Still standing. Yeah. I don't know what he can even do in this fight now. I guess he just. I don't even know. I have no idea. But at least they didn't overextend once that happened, right? They said, okay, we just got to give up Machizel in this moment and hope that we can find some value somewhere. He's tickling them. They're going to be heading up towards this top path once again, looking for this Reggie Alecki. He distracts. I mean, he has just to blink and just play from his side, I guess, and just try and be annoying. There isn't much they're going to be able to do with that. As Orange Team is heading to our bottom path here to see if they can secure... I think that seems kind of helpless. I mean, he doesn't Joey know that much now anymore. I guess he reduces special attacks, right? He's still somewhat useful. On the rip. 
He can reduce Blast Soil, his Venus Soil, and Talion. Damage, even Blissy healing. So in the end, his fire will still be kind of useful yeah, by just reducing damage, I guess. Uh, Regilecki's gonna walk in. They don't really have a great choice here. I assume Sylvian should go there, right? Points, so because Sylvian can get away and is useless anyway, so Sylvian goes down, it's like whatever. They also know that they're already yeah, Sylvian's gonna go for it. For to be in. Or not, like, he doesn't know where orange team is right now. He is actually go for it. Is he going now? He's too late. This is a great position okay. here for luminosity joey caught a little bit with the snipe shot in the rock too but it's an umbrella point for a g it's doing okay yeah it healed itself right up otter with another now he's going for the backcap oh he sees them now so it makes sense and now otter yeah possibly running for the score they're it's already the 42 up points right in. now one minute 38 seconds on the clock orange team could win the grand finals right now they're starting to hit this rayquaza they're seeing if anyone oh, wants to take off damage right here he's AG jackpotting to his team huge catch right there onto Zug, Rug. Zug flashing more damage onto them back right now the snipe shot doesn't find any oh. target rayquaza is resetting its um, if something bad happens IG can always replay they have glaceon and Oshifu, so something happen their tournament's not on the line but the victory and it's is always the having a flank this is what I mean. Otter, like, just trying to be annoying behind. Like, he's not going to do anything, but still. Right yeah, I would like to see in, Orange Team just run into AG right now. Radar. Just run into they them. The out, they're the getting flanked by Otter. Does he do anything in this fight? Oh, he's actually still alive. He's actually killing Italian. Oh, he's invisible right now. He's invisible. He can't hit the Mystic Fire. He's invisible. He can't hit him. He can't hit him because he's invisible. He has to basically attack air, but he can't because it would hit Venus so anyways. Oh, this might be it. Oh, Overlord has no chance. I mean, it's like in team fighting of AG is so pathetic in this team comp. No, like... Oh, but the Isaac is spear is Lutano. It's always on to Lutano, but they're taking AOE Isaac is spear damage. Kratos? What? It's on Lutano, snipe shot is to... No, what is... What are they doing? Oh my god. Orange, what? It's on Lutano. They grouped up and all took Isaac as BAE damage. Like, what? Oh, okay, we have a third game. Oh, we finally get the Machizel Machan. That's what I've been waiting for. Otta again. Another time Sylveon. But this time they have no Shifu at least. What's the last pick going to be right here? Not a Nine Tails, right? Surely not. What? Nine Tails? Nah. What? Let's go to work with the A9 is that gonna be a veil? I mean, I mean Lutano said he wants to play support damage right dealers. Is the a, a veil is prettier. Or oh, Otter's that's gonna play playing. Nine Tails. No, Never not. mind. Switching it over to Otter right now. So okay, that's very interesting. Nine Tails here is that really good? I feel like. Once again, huh. Out on okay, interesting uh, to see. Sylveon. Otter removed all his items right now. He's gonna reselect them. That's gonna be interesting. And what do we have here? What do we have here? Luminosity is your orange team. Machizel finally bring out the Machamp. He is known for this Pokemon. If Machamp wins another like grand final against Overlord, I think he's just gonna start picking up the Pokemon. <laughs> that would be funny. If Overlord loses again to Machamp. I would Here love to go. see. Oh, I don't know. Is he also? He's right also Mystic Fire. Where's all the Mystic Fire come from? These two teams, Luminosity gets the better of OT. Yeah, it really. AG loves like it so much. What well, bit is Otter? He's uh, Blizzard Evidence, right? Surely. Ahead. Type strategy. We have seen OT Honestly, I think they wouldn't be too bad, though. Pokemon, like the Venus but yeah. Last game. I think you could argue that Machizel is going to take a moment to get online here. Uh, not Again, the top rotation, they but want, they should but know about it, right? It happens every game. And they should be fine. Yeah, hyperspace fall for Machamp. Right Nicely, this time they're more passive. They know what's happening. They don't die to it. They score some core points, but that's fine. And now Lutano getting caught. They know, they know exactly what's going to happen. Then wait, they're ready for it. Lutano is and they didn't they stop them wait okay yeah, JL, this time good response for orange team they don't fall for it didn't take any damage for themselves Joey nice little hollow air on that crustal Intellion though <laughs> Intellion is trying to count on wait and he's caught Meanwhile, while this was happening, but Machamp takes an overlord. The combo? Caught 
by that Blizzard Avalanche really great order, stuff order, order, order. from Otter. You can see Kratos all nah, nah, going down in that moment. A tough Pokemon to deal with. If you have any kind of dive, you don't want to dive in towards an Alolan Ninetales. Roland taking a ton if of you ever want to know if someone returns on the hyperspace on portal, like the, the yellow thing, very, outer really line, it starts cycling, cycling, cycling around. If uh, someone is like, like really returning on the hyperspace portal, yes, like there's like effects on it. So you can see that someone returns. The Unite move on Leafy on crazy low cooldown and really impactful, especially early. Dynamic punch onto Op of Overlord. Tons of yep. damage rained in. The portal is there. Overlord ejects. You can see right now it's like nothing is happening. So this is how it normally looks. And yeah, if someone's returning, like it's really such, like the outer ring starts like going. So many resources on their side to make sure that happens. Overlord right now able to hit their level seven. And we see this is a rapid spin water spout blastoise. Something that we've seen. My champ is level very, seven. Very well. What is for rapid spin? Okay. LG is I like it here though. I feel like he's gonna be very right difficult now. to deal with in late game fights with this build. Go to central if you can. Fortunately for OT, I'm not sure if Otter's going to be too useful though. Of experience here, and they're adjusting fairly well at this point. Wow, I mean, they're really putting a lot of pressure onto Overlord right here, but that Eldegoss able to keep Overlord happy and healthy as no one is looking really at either Next, you're going to right say here, you can no press Arthur here advantage. with Phantom Force when the Hoopa oh, tricks you? No. Next, I'm going to tell you that Hoopa can press Unite. I know it's a, it's it's nice something we don't Wall usually do, but Hoopa can press Unite move. It's crazy. More damage on Joey. Otter gets engaged it's on a lot of people don't know this about Hooper, but Hooper does have a Unite move. Ooh, belly snipe shots. Wide, but gonna but they're going to get a lot of points in here. Score. Are they going to break? Here they should break go. it, right? But he stopped but scoring. Score What's right the NDD so stopping him? Huge blizzard avalanche right there. Uh, the Zakrak, no. Okay. Able to survive that onslaught because of the unite move and because of wish. And now we have Regirock being started here by OT. They are ready for this secure. They have the snipe shot. doesn't fight doesn't have level nine. Huge burst of damage as well. Man, wish he had so much now, man. Machamp They're gonna get it. Here, going straight towards Otter. Is gonna They're just getting it for free. And Machamp is here, Machizu. Right after securing Machizu. yet another Reggie Rock. Now Machizu. I wasn't aware of Hoopa's Snipe before, Zagrog thanks Chris, no problem. But can he find Big Unite moves this game? Not sure. It's getting hot. Orange team is purple, yeah. HP, but there's no sense in committing too much right now. Yeah, Overlord possibly pushing forward right here. Huge Solar Blade. I think it might change their mind. The x Scissor pushes forward into Machizel. Machizel now backing out. They do have a Unite move on this machine. Uh, they can use any moment. Sylveon takes uh, the Sky using their Unite move. Does Utano? Unite. They do. And now they're looking for their target. Alolan Ninetales right below them could be a good one. Overlord He's not going to react. He's not, he doesn't want to greed for it. Oh, that's he. Oh, no, Machizel. He jumped on by the Leafeon. And now we have... Uh, he tried too much there. He still wants to use his Unite and instead just in that moment, loses the right eject button and his life at the same did. time. If you don't use it, you lose it. Machizel would have lost their Unite move, right? Because they activated it and they hadn't used it yet. I actually like them not using it there. You just give Sylveon is so bad. I, I just don't understand they are missing a fire Sylveon focus. I don't get it. Yeah, and here we go up to this top path. We see Luminosity with some better positioning right here over this objective. They also don't have a tier one goal zone on the other side, so they can make something happen. OT with a play. Ooh, nice push onto bot here, maybe. I mean, it's very quite weak, but Zakrak has a huge shield. Crashing this goal zone. He has a and massive shield. Crash takes to the skies. They land. Nice Edigos here. Just to build separation. Flareon's in their Intellion unite, but they can't get anything okay. into that. Did they get any points in that, right? No. They were really looking to make a, an impact on that goal zone and break mm. it, but they can't quite. Snipe shot? Yeah, he almost there. walked into Not the lingering uh, AOE. That was close, actually. Overlord almost KO'd himself. Here in the bottom oh, no, he's gone. Two members of OT. Uh, actually, he got bladed. With Zagrug being down here, this could be just another secure for OT at this red ice. Yeah, Man, AG just, I don't know on, why I feel like AG just, I mean, I like teams doing really different things again, but I'm just not feeling this at all. That's annoying Edigos gets the KO right there. The Edigos has more experience than Sylveon. Wait, much is it? Oh! Oh no, the wish is not in time. Yeah, that's not the greatest trade. 
Yeah, incredible stuff. I mean, just that Sylveon, you know. But Aedagos is higher level than Sylveon. Fighting Sylveon, it's really <laughs> tough to that's take rough. that thing down. And it's able to put so much pressure on your opponents. That's what we've seen. That's what we've seen all match from Lutano here. Three minutes on, top on of the, the trip. clock. The last three minutes of this tournament, into him? possibly, no? if Orange Team is able to put this uh, thing away. You can see Zugrug having to Zagiragi? be out right now. The snipe shots land, but it's landing onto a Blastoise, not doing as much damage it's so as you like. You'd love it to hit that Alolan Ninetale. Right? Even with, like, you really would. That, those snipe shots in sense, I still feel like it heals so much. Would be awesome for them, as they are just dwindling down. As much as level 13 soon, he's 13 for damage. But it might be Close. not up to them, as Luminosity but they want to give possible. them the yeah, Luminosity holding this point well. He was holding bot alone, but they have no support right now. Yeah, Machis is going to recall. He's going to start up stacking his cross shop. Machis ticking over to level 13. Possibly going to take some time to try to charge up some yep. cross chop stacks. The AG levels are very bad. The They'll have a level 11, 9 tits, 12 Mystic Fire Sivion, 12 Blast Toys. The levels are terrible. Can Overlock at 13 at least somewhere? He's looking for it, but they have no Indies right now. Nothing up. They do as much damage as they can. Rayquaza is here. Yeah, just the the levels look terrible. Is up. Luminosity ready for this fight. It feels like this match is so And night is and Lakeham fights is pretty weak. So let's make a fight Sivion. Nice position and they're behind in points, but I mean, not much. LG swiftly rotating, trying well, well, to still not level 13. He is, but meanwhile, Machizel is getting a ton of time still not. to build those stacks you mentioned. Here they try to give him Atari on bot lane for 13. Here. We have Eldegoss. We can see them moving around as we head back down towards O2. Mine is on level 12. Almost there. To make a play or to even stop. Yeah, that Ribbit Spin Plus. Pushing forward right here. Spinning to win right now. Looking to catch Zugrug, but not making anything happen. It's so Snipe awkward for a gene, I guess. <laughs> threading the needle right there. such weird carries. In the top path, looking for a score here. No one's Machis is going to put them very far ahead now. What does is that just going to rip it? Are they taking Rayquaza right now? I don't they think they can rip it. They're just die ripping it. I feel like the they're too squishy. Why? Inteleon? How did that happen? Machamps on the right side. And it was with a very good Unite. Blastoise. They're pressing the AOE circuits. It's out on to Machisa now. Wait, what happened? What happened to Inteleon? Machamp is down. Oh boy. I don't know what Orange Team is doing. Flareons is here. Flareons is way too late. Luminosity is going to take it. Bracket reset. Yeah, bracket reset here for Luminosity. If they are able to score, and it looks like they are. 100 points going into this bottom path. That's going to put them 202, 180. Not able to That's enough. scores in the bottom path. All right, path. we head into a bracket reset. With no time yeah. Left on the clock. Or like when Machem goes to backup here, you move into here this position. But instead, the defender and support goes this way. Leaves Intellion up here. They have no vision on Rekvaza right now. So Intellion has to walk up alone, pop Unite move alone, gets completely ran down. Meanwhile, his tank and support are up here because they decided to flank. And because they decided to flank, they also make it obvious for Machamp. Like, Machamp can't move into here because his defender support are here. So they can't, like, look for a big flank. Well, there was just terrible positioning, like, all across the board. Like, why are Hooper and... Why are Hooper Umbreon flanking? I don't understand. Machamp is backcapping. The enemies have a free open Rayquaza. What are you flanking? Hold this position. Start poking them. Wait for Machamp to flank, right? That's what should happen. Chomp, possibly so Orange Team not banning out Sylveon. It's just funny to see. Garchomp? Garchomp. Is Garchomp good here? Yeah, I think LG's okay with it. Interesting. Rapid Fire Scarf, Weakness Policies, Scope Blends. Final Weakness policy or he's over for focus band. Okay. What could be last pick right here? Why does Otter have Gurgata equipped again? What? Mem Otter? Mamoswine, no. Otter, where are you going to end what? up? What? Mamos? He has played this. Huh? He has played sort of this attacker, huh? Mamoswine. Uh, you know, what is going on in AG this <laughs> I really think this is some exciting stuff. And it's Triple Defender, earlier, Lutano, Glaceon. Overlord running Rapid Fire. No, he's going for a spin build. Okay, we have Waterspoke Rapid Spin. 
Otter on Mammoswine. I mean, it's looking, I mean, against Leafy on Garchomp, I guess it's kind of looking good, right? I, I'm curious. It, I mean, it looks interesting. I mean, I've not seen Otter play Mammoswine, but apparently Jake and Doopsnakes have, so... I have not. So what's he going to do with Mammoswine? Is it a bot path? Okay. Uh, what path is against Inteleon? Compared to the other stage two Pokemon, uh, <laughs> that can be played, has some great okay. tools to them. Otter quickly going sure. for stack. Why? Because they're attacking this game. Right. Yeah, they are. They want that extra damage. They want to get real. Yes, have a tech radio. Real fast here in this bottom path. Leafion coming. Yeah, what is what is? They can do to stop it. What is AD doing in scrims? Solar blade, but no. Otter able to. How are their scrims looking like? I, I want to know. Using their icicle crash right there. Great stuff. I want to see Wait again, Mammoth Swine. Have you seen them play Ice Fang? I mean, Orange I like Team doesn't have enough targets now for Leafion and stuff, right? You know, I love Lockdown for Garchomp. Like, how's Garchomp going to basic attack? He's up against three Defender, which he would like to have. Because Garchomp destroys course, Defender, but to -to they have long CC. Like that, you can just pick them up, slam them down with that Ice Fang. <laughs> It's a very unique composition, and uh, first they need protection to for Lutano. Line, right? Otter sitting at level four, they need to hit level five. And is he gonna go down right here? No. Zugrug, understanding that Otter what right bit does he play? Is, is it really Icicle? I mean, state he has a tech bait, right? So it has to be yeah, Icicle Crash and High Horsepower? I assume so. <laughs> but Chisel, just running yeah. around. Looking for something to Where's do. Gibby going? We have Overlord Lil Gibby the running around. Looks like they're securing a little bit better. But Chisel now trying to get their level 5 off of some of these Pokemon Lil in the Gibby. central area. Yeah, that just means that the top path has going, been going incredibly well for Luminosity here. Mm -hmm. um, but at least IG is showing us interesting games Joey, today. You know, so I can't be too upset. Has for themselves right and they're winning, right? I mean, they're, they're, Overlord, Borky, they're two up tandem, in the grand final. They've got a good rhythm. So. Yeah, they've got a great rhythm right here. Once again, we've got the water spout on the side of Luminosity, Overlord going to be playing that Rapid Spin Water Spout build. Zagrug's I think Gatchum's not going to have a good time. Otter. Otter desperately wants to evolve here. Oh, I think his spears Aura has got him already. Still barely left Otter of level 5. Of that, the space was granted. I would say I would, like, I, I would have liked Ice Fang yeah, in this game, but kind of it doesn't work with all the XP shit, I feel like. That makes no sense. Very, very soon how they want to play it. Heading we'll up see. to our top path right here, seeing if we can score 30 possibly. But no, Garchomp is coming to do some He's getting Garchomped. Oh! I think his spear, does he have vision? He doesn't have vision. Really? He didn't have vision? Oh my god, the Leafy damage. Donked him. Overlord going under. That one missed. Are they going to properly break this? No, Umbreon is gone. What's going on? Lutano looking forward. No, he targeted the Altaria! Lutano! Lutano, what is that? Very, very I mean, I mean Altaria, maybe Altaria has a lot more experience, honestly. Than a Garchomp, honestly, at this point. Maybe it's the right play. The Isaac Crash is there. Yeah, Antonio can't walk into this. Or maybe he can. Is he gonna find a way? No, the double wood hammer comes down. Otter gets it. But why is Otter so fancy out of nowhere? We do see the icicle crash from the side of luminosity like so not missing a fire so oh, oh, is there all being holy right oh they had no <laughs> luminosity <laughs> and that is the joey tree difference now they're joey the pad. they've got five players here looking at three on the side of orange team solar blade engagement two that was a mess of the on each but now we're looking at kratos kratos is really getting the pressure put on them joey's looking for an opportunity to poach they flip they horn leech kratos somehow still how is he going to alive he's still alive okay so what about happy night no oh he just he didn't skill it in time oh, i guess he was spinning anyways actually four right here i'm looking going forward lutano against zakrak lutano against zakrak Breaks my heart to see them against each other. Zakrak takes on by Lutano. This feels like betrayal, man. But it was Zakrak who left TTV, right? So Lutano just going, getting him. This fair.
at this Reggie Alecki, but it looks like Luminosity is Tano and Zuckerberg apart, man. Luminosity is moving up there. Sad times. Great secure, but Egg Bomb can always find something. The Icicle Crash is now here as well, so this has changed a lot. Let's see what they end up doing. Oh, God, Sean, oh, oh, one... Oh, it was one attack. HP. One basic attack, attack was needed. From the mammo. Another dragon rush, they're trying to poach a character, but they don't poach anything. Why was Gatchum picked this early? Wait, was Gatchum picked early? No, it wasn't. But they were hovering it early on. The opportunity to have a little bit of pop here to this engagement. KO streak of three for Lutana by what else? looks fun. And they overcapped this nicely. Here we go. 22 points in this top Overlord continuing to score. He's going to stack up a bit. Nice overcap. Memo is so broken, yeah. This is all Memo so far, right? Luminosity on top. Definitely. here in the bottom path. Joey watching from the bushes. Elvis Prestry looking to hit the right notes against this. Now they're going to not get this, but it doesn't matter too much. I think the second Reggie. They don't care about that Reg Heist. It's probably yeah, the most like, useless objective in the entire game, okay. right? I was standing there. I was watching. I was in the tall grass for a while. It doesn't really matter at all. Board, I left. I just didn't think it was a thing for us. I'm still experience. Yeah, it. Just, just wasn't interested. But it's not the end of the worst, not getting it. Um, looking decent on levels. I mean, level 13 Glaceon from the top. Definitely not. The back of this big string of KOs that they're able to put together. Orange team. Doing okay on the scoreboard, a little bit behind, and similar with levels. I mean, the second yeah, Richie I mean, Lecky is actually definitely going better sometimes better. Score wise, slightly better for Luminosity as they move in if it's before fight. jump pads. But it can't be right now, doesn't doesn't work. Uh, chomp, 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 chomp. Chomp him, Shizzy. Oh, he missed the eject button. But Overlord is down too. Trevenant's in trouble. Now we see the Blastoise go down. And now we see the Trevenant go down. Beautiful fight for OT. And this I mean, if Glaceon goes down, it's just over. <laughs> Good chomping. Zugrug not done there. They actually get charged with the high horsepower right through and decide to peel. Yeah, here we go. Everyone's just going to be charging up there. Unite move, getting as much experience as they can. Level 13 on the side of Luminosity for that uh, blast, which is extremely important. It is a huge buff, and they're definitely going to look for their plus move. It's, it's a tie right now on points. Wow. Not having that heading into this final fight. Actually, tie on points. Close. Yeah, level Can we, I want to get a profession, like, like I want, imagine a tie in a grand final. I want to see it one time. That would be so nice. 30 now for Overlord again, not this time he hits it before Ray. So, XP is very even. AG is just a bit behind, but uh, they're one level behind in total. But Memo spends level 12. But no, nope, they're heading now again and they can... Mammoth is going to for the spec here, but Reggie Steel, level 14 guard chomp. That's quite scary. But I don't want to see Umbreon flanking again too much. And then Teleon Lodge just popping United running to the enemy team. Oh, the snipers are landing now. Otter rotating through, they see Machizel, they put an ice cream uh, right on top of them. Rapid spin spout by Overlord, and then they move quickly back to risky. their side of the team. We're still settling up. Yeah, still settling up right here. The soft boiled coming out, healing up. It looks like they've got to take target. Ray right here. He should start to try to taking Ray just for his passive. That boosts it. We're still able to heal up Overlord. He's so passive. The icicle spears come out. There's the Glaceon Unite move. They're pushing forward, trying to get Kratos a Kratos has a flank onto, onto Tano. Orange team is so passive. Well, they see the Blasters Unite. Oh, they're from Glaceon. There's the flank of Leafeon. They find them. Guard from eject buttoning forward. Overlord 1 HP. Overlord down. They're gonna go for Ray here. They should. I mean, they have to. Yeah. I thought Orange Team was way too passive, but they just... If Glaceon moves down, there's just no chance. Like, what is this <laughs> Can Otto just pick something normal, please, in the series? Am I asking for too much? And they have to just score one time. They don't need to do much. Just yeah, one right score in this should game. be enough. And there we go. 200, 300, and GG. So we finally have Otter picking up Inteleon. What well, it feels like a real Pokemon. But Sylvian got bent again. Is it going to be a Scyther for Overlord? The top half of Scyther, it is going to be one. Into Trevenant Blastoise. Picking the Scyther. 
And some of these strip decisions just confuse me a bit. So we see a Mimikyu. See, this Mimikyu was so overhyped by an A teams. I remember, like, was it at Aeos Cup where, like, on the last tournament in A where Mimikyu was permanently banned? And now Mimikyu doesn't even get picked. Now, finally, we see Mimikyu. Yeah, I mean, Mimikyu was so overrated in yeah. last few tournaments. But it could really be good, good here. Pokemon. It shuts on Scyther. It can be good against Glaceon, and it's very good into Inteleon, so we're gonna see how that goes. Okay, let's see. I mean, I think, I mean, Mimikyu could be good here. This could be one of the games where Mimikyu is actually good in. So, as a last pick, I think it can be quite, quite decent. Overlord on top has Scyther. Quite risky picking into two defender this early on. I don't believe in it too much. That's Overlord, so... Can't underestimate him, eh? Very early Atano gank. Very big surprise EV gank on level 4. Chance even for an invade. He goes down, but that's fine. Yeah. Sometimes gonna try to snowball Overlord. Oh, he didn't get the last hit though. That was a bit unlucky. Roland couldn't even engage. There was no. enough spears there for just one trigger of icicle spears. Okay, that's to that's take good early game. Um, so now but again, I mean, Machiza should be ready for it. It, it happens every game. Hello, Claw. I expected to play rough this game. Right like, who's he shadow clawing? Interesting. But against Italian Glacier, I'm definitely going to be, uh, and like Scyther is definitely going to be a play rough. Zuck no. gonna mean look. Tons of pressure being Zuck put on gets by Otter on? and Joey. Yeah, right. right this is this has to be a play rough game. No, I mean. He's just gonna get mean look every time he walks up for shed like shadow claws. Please pick Scizor. Yeah, no one's gonna pick Scizor. I feel like you're gonna overall probably do more damage and you zone enemies out I hate Scyther though. I hate Scyther. But he's getting a big lead. Very fast point and click burst. Very level seven. I'm looking at the secure tools that OT dance? has. I and, hope so. Um, outside of maybe the Chandler Unite, I'm uh, not seeing too, too much. Yeah, I don't think they're a secure heavy team. They're going to need to win a fight. That's yep. what they're looking to do. And they do have a few options to do it. Level 7 for Kratos. The orange team doesn't have secure. Shadow sneak. Oh, what a they also have an overuse. They don't have flamethrower damage either. It's just an absolute dream. Uh, yeah, okay. Man, I feel like teams are so weird at drifting right now. When they design that character. I love not what it, it is. I love it. Uh, Zoinks was mad at me one time for not telling him it was good. But let me I mean, Sizzle you. isn't too good in solo queue either. Oh, Otter. You're not missing a Vassivian anymore, buddy. He's hitting the Shadow Sneaks. Can he get the KO? No. But that's all points in. That's huge. 57. I mean, Lutano just keeps playing around Overlord. To get him ahead. So late. What's going to be free Regis? Big Room Gaming? Yeah, no. That was a great series from this Mimikyu. We're gonna see if they're able to shut it down. I mean, G's missing engage. I mean, no, not they're missing not engage. They have, they have Scyther and Blissey you know, Unite. It, it Never mind. It's getting late. But they're missing CC engage, is what I mean. But Blissey does stun too, right? Like, Scyther's gonna just jump in with the Bliss Assistant. That's gonna be it. And Scyther's down, but so is Mimikyu, because the Unite got Pensil. He died before Unite connected. Oh, Zakrak. That was so unfortunate for Mimikyu. Overlord died before the Unite move fit, so Mimikyu just died instantly as well. As Doug Rug is doing Doesn't get the shield anymore. The look and just being a problem in the front line here. Otter can't get the space they need for Zuck snipe Rock. shots this year. And here we go. Otter looking for something. I'm able to hit Machizel right there. The snipe shots continue to roll in. Oh, that's the, the, that's the, the engage. That's the oh. Move, and he is looking to tear <laughs> Goodbye, Shindelua. This is exactly what they need but to do right unite. now. They need to get a big win inside but he doesn't get a big shield. Yeah, that's the, okay. Shot. Yeah, they have Scythe of this assistance. In a lot of trouble. Into the mean look. And that was nice. Down. 35 going to this Overlord just send it in. Very nice with 33 over cap. Yeah, G has zero CC. I mean, the CC is uh, this assistance. Prevent any of that at that point because so. 
Everyone from Luminosity was there. They took a nice convincing team fight. This, this test doesn't really matter. It's just to build up a Unite move, it, right? So this is a classic, uh, classic with Pable or Blissey move. Walk up, score one time, yeah, die, and really build up Unite move back up. It's a classic. It's actually a good play. Scyther, Unite, and Sometimes you get lucky and even get more scores in. All the way in. The but 11 9 Blissey dying doesn't give experience. So you just build up Unite move faster because you can't farm anyways. And that might be up for the next objective again. But I don't think it will be quite. Uh, Why is Edgar's even up there? They just a pressed poor Roland in the mean look here. I don't know. I don't know how long this is. This is going to go down. But Zagrog is level eight. He's going to go down too. And Blaze Edgar's has unite, but I mean. No one's going to make it there in time. That's so Overlord into it. Yeah, scoring in this top path here, and they do. They break that top path goal zone really nice. This was so there. good if Scyther and Blissey don't go down. But I guess they stop recoils, maybe, right? Maybe they're able to stop recoils. Like, it's still a very good trade for LG. Doesn't matter what. Very good. Regilecki up. Ooh, Zakra against the town again. This is his abuse on Glacier. Save, we have the move from and it doesn't matter. Nice, nice Tano gets squished. Tano gets squished. Why is Overlord Sis looking Zagra. around? For team. The and they defend this now, right? It's too risky to defend. They're, they're still in Blasters Unite move up. Ah, uh, AG, why don't you just... People are so bad at understanding when they can defend and when not, like... For LG. And you just make it so much worse for no reason. Yeah, a lot you're wasting here, time, you're not farming. They need this. They need you give up two more extra right KOs. So they can secure their spot here as the grand finals winner for the Some things just can't be defended. A lot to prove for our orange team with a minute until Ray Quaza. You have to remember that this team does not exist if it wasn't for what Luminosity is today. A team of Luminosity, Alter Ego, I mean, no, members no play rough now. This is no play rough, right? Like, if he has play rough, they heal. Holy. Overlord is mad. Overlord is mad. And are we doing the same thing again now? We just defend the goal we can't defend, or is it actually going to work? Right Edogos Unite is so late, but I guess they defend. But I still lose Reggie Rock, anyways. Knife shot is. They used to nice to defend. Well, everyone's going to farm, though, right? Like, it's fine. Like, the Edogos Unite is fine because everyone used to Knife moves anyway. Way, so no one's gonna really do much. One. A one point lead right now. This is an absolute nail by one point lead. So Are you serious? Close. We have multiple unite moves not out for some of our players wow. right here. Orange team with a one game advantage. They can take a weighted flip right here. They can get pretty aggressive onto the side of luminosity if they would like to. Kratos obviously can make a big. Play make you a play rough. I would be. They're just gonna go for the flip. They're flipping it. And AG is so far away from it. This is the sense, and they get it. Why do teams always just give up Ray positioning so much? I mean, they have a, they have a one zero lead, so I might as well like okay, we're just gonna flip it. And if we win, we win. It happens so often that teams just let the enemy team walk into Ray. OT taking it in OT and wow. the finals. That's Orange nice team. We have new champions. Matches, like I mean, some State of them have been champions the before, distance, but, but it looks like of course. It is over right now. OT Man, it just ends in the... I mean, yeah, I mean, it's AG's for it. They just... They're not at Ray. Push in them, but they are so far behind. <laughs> I mean, this is wipe the entire... Oh, man. I, yeah, there's no chance. All right. Goals, pick up more points Orange team. I mean, maybe there's a chance there. Okay, maybe we'll look on Watch the push there. Maybe there's a chance. Who knows? I doped it, but they still have this. They have Scythe the Unite. It's supposed to happen, maybe. It's only. I mean, Trevin's going to score another 100. Can they keep Lutano alive? Joey's going to go down. 
now the push continues, but Umbreon is down. Joey is down. Fact that he has Coming in, targets. That's, uh, yeah, the not can't find a KO crash landing on top of the pad. Nope. Is That's it. And it looks like OT's defense that is, is it. Stand. Orange right. team, Zakrak beats AG and become the April team. champions of North America. Sending Overlord G back to the Pokemon Center. Doing a little 